Mary walked into the vast bakery, her eyes scanning the rows of colorful cakes and pastries. She had never been to this store before, but she was drawn in by the enticing aroma of freshly baked goods. As she wandered down the aisles, her gaze landed on a particularly intriguing item, a banana nut muffin with a crunchy top and soft interior. Mary had never been a fan of carrots, so when she saw the carrot cake next to the muffin, she quickly steered clear of it. The muffin, on the other hand, looked almost too good to be true. Its golden brown color and inviting aroma made her mouth water. And at two dollars, it was a steal. Without hesitation, Mary purchased the muffin and eagerly unwrapped it as soon as she reached her destination. The crunchy texture of the outside gave way to a soft, fluffy interior, and the sweet banana flavor hit her taste buds with a delightful surprise. It was almost too good to be true. As Mary savored each bite, she couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off. The muffin seemed to have another worldly quality to it, as if it had been infused with magic. And then suddenly, a tiny fairy appeared before her, grinning mischievously. Welcome, mortal, the fairy said in a squeaky voice. I've been waiting for you. You see, this muffin is not just any ordinary baked good. It's a magical treat, crafted with love and care by the store's enchanted bakers. Mary's eyes widened in amazement as the fairy continued to explain the secrets of the crunchy cake. Our special ingredient is and here. She leaned in closely, her voice taking on a hushed tone. It's magic. The muffin spell has the power to make you feel good from the inside out. As Mary listened, fascinated by the fairy's words, she couldn't help but wonder what other magical secrets lay hidden in the bakery's treasures. Perhaps the next time she visited, she might just discover a pot of gold among the tasty goodies. Who knew? Anything was possible in this enchanted place. What did Mary purchase at the bakery? Mary purchased a banana nut muffin. Why did Mary avoid the carrot cake? Mary avoided the carrot cake because she doesn't like carrots. What was the fairy's special ingredient in the muffin? The fairy's special ingredient in the muffin was magic. What did the fairy say about the muffin spell? The fairy said that the muffin spell has the power to make you feel good from the inside out. What did Mary wonder as she listened to the fairy's words? Mary wondered what other magical secrets lay hidden in the bakery's treasures.